Alright guys, this is just going to be a super quick Borderlands 3 update video about the new respawn event which starts today slash tomorrow depending on your time zone from October the 8th until October the 14th. Now unfortunately I go away on the 10th for a few days so I will miss a few days of this event and I'll probably only be back for week 3 which is called Show Me the Iridium. So yeah, if the uploads are a bit quiet from me on my channel I do apologise but I am trying to get a few videos done ready for upload while I'm away. But on with the video. Week 2, Rare Spawn Hunt, what does it consist of? I'll have the new updated October roadmap on the screen right now so you can see the official information from Gearbox themselves. The description for Week 2 says that most Rare Spawns appear more often with an increased chance to drop better loot. Now this event goes live on the 8th at 9am PDT, which if you're from the UK like me and don't understand those times, that will be 5pm or that's 12 midday for East Coast USA. So when this video goes live there should be just a few hours before the event kicks starts. So what can we expect from this event? On screen right now I will have a really useful table that at Milksmain tweeted out over on Twitter. Thank you so much for tweeting this, this is actually awesome. It lets you know which of the rare spawn bosses this event impacts, what rare loot they will be dropping more frequently and also whereabouts you can find them in Borderlands 3. So the first of the bosses we have Rackman who can be found in the Carnivora area on Pandora and he will be dropping the legendary pistol the Nightflyer. El Dragon Jr which can be found near the beginning of the Jacobs estate on Eden 6 will be dropping a legendary artifact by the name of Unleash the Dragon. Now I've actually not had this artifact before so that's something I'm going to be farming right off the bat when this event launches. Next up we have Road Dog who can be found in a bandit camp in the Splinterlands on Pandora. This is where the shooting range minigame is, I actually covered in a previous video. Road Dog will be dropping the legendary shotgun known as the Red Line which again I haven't actually managed to get yet so I'll be farming for that. Indo Tyrant who can be found in Floodmore Basin on Eden 6 at the open area at the back where you do the side quest with the car ramps will be dropping random customizations such as heads and skins that's not really worth farming if you ask me I'm pretty sure I've got every head and skin available uh, just from doing other farms like Grave Ward and whatnot then we have the force troopers who can be found at the Atlas HQ on Promethea and they'll be dropping random legendary class mods so that's worth farming. The Demoskagen which is the Stranger Things reference skag enemies that you can find in the droughts area of Pandora will be dropping random legendary shields so I may farm those guys to try and get myself a decent stopgap. The Unstoppable who can be found in the Ambermire area of Eden 6 will be dropping a legendary shield called the Band of Sitarak I think. Now I've never even heard of this thing so this is definitely on my list of stuff to get during this event. We have Thunk and Sloth who can be found in Conrad's Hold on Pandora. They'll be dropping the It's Piss grenade mod. I personally don't like this thing so I won't even be trying for that I don't think. Max a Trillion who can be found in Voracious Canopy on Eden 6 right before the Genevieve boss fight at the end of the ship will be dropping the Horizon, a legendary shotgun which I have also never heard of so I'll definitely be farming that. Borman Nates who is an awesome little reference to Norman Bates from Psycho can be found on the planet Promethea in the Meridian outskirts and he will be dropping the Psycho Stabber legendary pistol. Now this was actually the first ever legendary that I got in Borderlands 3 and I only used it very briefly while I was a low level. So I'm going to jump in and grab another one of these and give it a try at a higher level and see how it does. Then we have Princess Tarantella, the giant spider ant who can be found in the Splinterlands 2 just like Road Dog can. They'll be dropping the Hive legendary rocket launcher. The Mother of Grogans which is the amazing Game of Thrones reference to Daenerys Targaryen can be found in an area known as West of Gross, a reference to Westeros, in the Anvil area area of Eden 6. She'll be dropping random legendary artifacts which I guess is because we have the Game of Thrones legendary artifact, the one that says what do we say to the god of death. I forget the name of the artifact now but yeah, love that boss, very very cool reference. Red Jabba, who is actually not a Jabba but he is a Tink, can be found in Ambermire on Eden 6 and they'll be dropping random legendary grenade mods. And finally we have Ernest McEnforcer in Letra City's underground subway area, who'll be dropping a legendary sniper rifle called the Masterwork crossbow. I'm actually really excited to jump in and farm for this thing because I've never heard of it. I have no idea what it is and I don't think I even remember this rare spawn boss so this will be an interesting one to farm. So yeah guys that's about it for this video. I just wanted to break down all the rare spawn bosses that you can find from the 8th of October until the 14th. There's some super cool opportunities to get some great loot here so if you're all interested in any of these then be sure to jump into Borderlands 3 and farm them. Again this event starts at 9am PDT. 12 midday EST 
and 5 p.m. BST on the 8th of October. Thank you guys so much for watching and checking out the video. If you found this video useful at all, then please be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you are new and love Borderlands related content. It's pretty much all I do here on the channel. Thanks again guys for stopping by and showing me your support and I'll catch you guys in the next Borderlands 3 video.